Okay, hello again guys. Uh, I'm going to show you how to open it now uh, as the next step, basically. Uh, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a Torx 10 screwdriver. That's a definite. Uh, it's a special type of screwdriver. You can buy them on the internet. You can buy a little kit for opening your Xbox. Or you can go to a local like, hardware store and get it. It's T10, Torx 10. Um, possibly a Torx 8 screwdriver, but that's not like essential. Um, I've got a little like Xbox 360 opening tool, is what it's called. You can pick that up on eBay for just a few quid. That's quite useful, if I'm honest. But short of that, you can just use like a mini screwdriver or whatever. And oh yeah, you might need some pliers and like, mini screwdrivers and shit either as well. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a little tool thing, you can use just like a really small screwdriver or a paper clip actually just to poke around in. Right, so let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do, just get these out of the way. First thing you want to do is open up the front of your Xbox. Uh, let's see if we can get something in there. Prize open. There you go. Oh, easy. Right, keep that safe. Uh, that's just the front of it. Um, what you now want to do is you want to get rid of. See these little like grey plastic bits on the top. You want to get and the bottom, of course. You want to get rid of those. So the, how you do this is well, once I've taken it off. You can see a bit more clearly. Um, basically, in here, there's like little tabs that go down and click into things. You want to um, get a little screwdriver or whatever and poke around in there until you release it, and you'll hear it pop. In there, six of these in total. Three. Easy. There you go. Right. I can show you now. It's these things here. You need to just sort of. If you look through the little holes on the side, you can uh, just see. And you just, you, all you got to do is just push them in so that they unclip from the little holders that they were that they were in. Uh, once you've got that off, again, chuck it into the side to keep it safe. Flip it over. Do the same on the other side. Get right then. Once you've done that, uh, you want to be getting the front, the, the sort of the covers off of the main sort of bulb body of it, if you like. Now, uh, see so yeah, what you want to do is have it on its front. Now. You can, you know, you can get a hair dry and you can melt the stick of glue and peel it off really slowly. But realistically, I mean, J tagging it, you're gonna avoid the warranty anyway. So I'm just gonna score through it and not bother about saving it at all. But yeah, no, if you did want to uh, save the sticker, you just get a hair dryer and melt the glue, bind it, and then peel it off really, really slowly. Okay, next step, you want to get. A couple of flat headed screwdrivers. Well, I'll just use a couple. I find it helps. And I'm going to prise open these little clips off the front of it. Oops, this is going to go badly. Small area. Right. Prise it open. Get your fingers in and pull it apart as well so it doesn't like, clip back together. And you can see it's starting to come apart. Four on the front, they're fairly obvious, and then you know, once you've got it apart, it's just like that. Next, what you want to do is get your hand inside of it so you've got a little sort of angle, if you know what I mean, get some pressure behind it. And on the back of here, you'll notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little slots here. When you look on yours, you'll be able to see them, and in there, there's basically another clip like on the, um, the pieces from the top as well. What you want to do is get a really small screwdriver and just push it in there to hear a little click. This can be quite tricky and might take a while. You need to keep your hand inside of it as well to get some, keep some pressure in there. I've got my little tool for this. So, I just go like that. And like that. And then, hopefully, if they all came out first time, which it doesn't look like they did, one on the front. There you go. And off comes the top. Um, it will make a heck of a lot of noise and there'll be a lot of cracking and whatever, but these things are actually, uh, despite their obvious flaws, they're actually quite solidly made and it's really quite difficult to break them. So, yeah, apply a little bit of force and it shouldn't help too bad. It shouldn't help. It shouldn't be too bad at all. Right, once you've done that, you'll notice you've got one half off and the other half is actually screwed down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, let's think. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think. 
I oh, know 15. I think it's 15, but I could be wrong. Basically, these are the special type of screws that you need the screwdriver for. T Torx 10, as I uh, mentioned earlier. Go ahead and undo all of these screws. Oh dear. Oh, someone's buggered that one up. Someone's opened this before. That's not good. Tried to do it with something that's not an Allen uh, Torx screwdriver. That could be a bastard to get off, actually. Go on. Good. Okay, here we go, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the top of it is completely smashed in. Someone's obviously tried to open it without a torque screwdriver and has failed. Uh, so I'm going to chuck that away and get another spell. Once you have all of your screws unscrewed, uh, you want to take them all out and keep them safe. Do keep them safe, because you do want to put them... Oh, right. well, um, also, yeah, on yours you'll have some screws in there as well. Uh, I've had the X clamp fix on this one, it looks like, so that's been removed. If you do, you'll want to get rid of those as well. Now, I can for the life of me remember. Actually, I might have some spare here, so I can tell you. Um, yeah, by the looks of it, it's just a regular Phillips screwdriver. So you will want to undo these as well with just a, a really small Phillips screwdriver or crosshead screwdriver. Anyway, once you've undone everything on this side, flip your Xbox over. And the top of it should lift off. Now then. Next thing you want to do is remove your DVD drive. Thingy, oh, that's not good. Anyway, put that to one side. Uh, you want to lift out this white cover here. Fit back. Fill the room with it. That will come out. There you go. You're left with your fans in. So you want to take them out next. Switch there, unplug that first off. Yep, so lovely job. A bit grotty. Come from a smoker's house, anyway. There you go, you got most of it off on the front. A little white thing just clips. Actually, no, you can probably leave that on. Oh no, you can't. You need to get a screw behind it and just clip that off. You can get to do it for something. Voila. One, two, three screws there. Get rid of them with a Phillips screwdriver again. No, it's not. No, it is a Torx screwdriver. There we go. Torx 10. Nope. Torx 8 screwdriver. That's why you needed it. There you go. Just pull straight out. Keep that one very safe. Actually, I'm going to put that back on it. Which way up is it? That way. There you go. Keep that safe. And um, that's just your motherboard and your um, case. Sorry, I was looking for a word there. So, grab it by the heatsink, usually. Pull it out at an angle. And it should, if you haven't got anything clipped in, lift straight out. How easy was that? Lovely job. Right then. Put the case on the floor. There you go, you've got your motherboard out. And I think the next thing is. Sorry, a lot of dust on it. It is smelly. It smells of smoke anyway. That's basically it. Uh, next part in the thingy, the JTAG tutorial. Tutorial. I think I just said it like a SPAC is JTAGing it and soldering shit to it and whatever. 
So yeah, link is in the bottom right, I think. Uh, click that and go on to the next video. Thanks for watching.